Greetings fellow game admirers. I'm David McCord and welcome to my game room. I am a, a game collector and a game designer and uh, just all around game fan. Uh, in this particular episode I'm going to bring you a little information about a game called La Trunculi. Uh, it's also known as Ludus La Trunculorum. It's an ancient Roman game. Uh, it was played in the Roman Empire over 2,000 years ago and uh, various classes of uh, citizens enjoyed this game. It's been found in a lot of archaeological digs over the years. Uh, it was a descendant of Greek strategy games, um, but we don't really know what the rules to the game were. Historians and archaeologists have uh, surmised from the ruins um, what these games might have been played like. Uh, they've been hinted at in uh, Roman accounts of social life and uh, social commentary and poetry and such, but no real rule sets uh, have ever been found. So what we've included here in our set is uh, two separate sets of rules that have been devised over the last couple hundred years that are pretty well accepted as, uh, as possibilities for how uh, La Trunculi was played. The first set of rules we're going to present here was devised in 2001 by Ulrich Schadler. He was an architect and an archaeologist and uh, director of the Swiss Game Museum in La Tour de Pelise. So here's his set of rules. The two players choose 16 pegs of a unique color which begin the game off the board. In the first phase the players take turns placing pegs one at a time anywhere they like on the board. Experienced players will arrange their pegs carefully at this point to implement their chosen strategy later in the game. Players now take turns moving a single peg on each turn orthogonally one space, no diagonals allowed. Or they may jump an opponent's peg to capture it and remove it from the board. Chain jumps are allowed and jumped pegs stay in place until the chain is finished and cannot be jumped a second time in the same turn. So far the game seems quite familiar. If a player traps an opponent's peg between two of their own, the trapped peg and not be moved on the next turn. After that next turn, if the two captors are still in place, the trapped peg can be removed from the board in place of a move. If, however, one of the two captors is trapped or captured itself, the previously trapped peg is free to go. A piece can move into such a position without harm. There are no suicide moves. Keeping track of some of these entrapments can get a little difficult, and it's recommended that the players point out the status of any peg trapped so there's no confusion. When one player is reduced to just one peg, the game is over and the opposing player has won. Our second set of rules here were devised by Władysław Kowalski, a renowned Polish scientist and engineer in 2006. These rules are based primarily on a game board and some pieces found at the Stanway Dig near Colchester, England in 1996. The Kowalski Rules. In this version, the game was played on a 12 by 8 grid, but other sizes work as well. There is no placement phase. The pieces are all set up as shown. Kowalski described a general or a king piece for each side, set up in front of the rest of the pegs like the leader of the troops. All pieces move like chess rooks, orthogonally, up to any uninterrupted distance. The custodial capture is the same as in the Shadler game. The kings can jump over any number of pegs of either or both sides, and the jumped pegs are not captured. The exception is that a king cannot jump the opposing king. Otherwise, the kings can also move, trap, and capture like any other piece. The kings may be captured, but only if they are trapped orthogonally on all four sides. As I said, both sets of rules are available in our version of La Troncoli that uh, is part of our Peg Pastime series from New Venture Games. 
and they are distributed by Red Hen Toys. And um, so you can get a hold of this. You can play both games, uh, either the, the drop and jump game or the uh, game with generals. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. I appreciate your patronage. If you'd like to learn more about uh, historical games from around the world or just gaming in general, uh, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, as I always say sometimes, play every day.